Welcome back everybody, Adam Solowitz here. Today is not gonna be a typical episode. Today, I'm gonna to talk about who I am and my background. I am a professional chef. I've been cooking professionally for 15 years. I grew up in the restaurant industry as well. My father owned a bakery for 25 plus years. His father, my grandfather, for even longer than that. And my uncle currently owns a pastry shop in Los Angeles, California. And they do some kick-ass pastries and cakes and you name it, they do it and it's freaking awesome. So, and I'll actually post a link to his pastry shop in the description of the video. It's called Amy's Pastries. I graduated culinary school in 2007, 2008. I honestly can't remember, it's been, it's been that long. Uh, after culinary school, I moved back to my hometown of Palm Springs, California and did a season in the country club industry out there. And for those that don't know, Palm Springs is a resort community with tons of country clubs. From there, I moved to Los Angeles in 2008 and wanted to see what I can do and see what I can get. And I ended up getting a job at a local catering company, uh, washing dishes and being a prep cook. And within a few months, I transitioned into the sous chef of the company and then chef de cuisine and basically ran their kitchen for about a year and a half. And it was a great experience and I learned a lot. And I got to cater a lot of really cool Hollywood parties. It was pretty awesome actually. And I was only 24 years old at the time. So it was a great opportunity and I had tons of fun doing it. So after that, an opportunity arose back in Palm Springs, my hometown at one of the large casinos out there, Agua Caliente. And I ended up getting a job there as their banquet chef. And I spent two years as a banquet chef at Agua Caliente, where I learned how to cater even larger parties. I mean, I'm talking upwards of, you know, two, three, four, five hundred to a thousand people. And that was a ton of fun. And I consider Agua Caliente my stepping stone into the hotel industry. And I haven't looked back ever since. And that was in 2009. And I've been in hotels ever since. After Agua Caliente, there was an opportunity at another casino in the Palm Springs area called Fantasy Springs. And I knew who the executive chef there was. I know him personally, but I knew who he was, or I've heard of him. And his name uh, is Freddie Rieger. He was well known in the casino industry. He worked for the Mirage in Vegas. He was also the executive chef of the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City for, I think, seven years, something along those lines. At Fantasy Springs, it wasn't just banquets. They had a ton of outlets, and an outlet is basically a restaurant. They had everything from a three-meal restaurant to a buffet, to a, an Asian restaurant, to a taco shop, a pizza place, you name it, they had it. I took that opportunity and I jumped on it. And I worked at Fantasy Springs under Chef Freddy's tutelage for almost three years. And he is still my mentor to this day. And I learned a ton from him. At that point in time, I knew I wanted to grow and I wanted to learn even more. There was an opportunity with Hyatt. I knew I wanted to get into the corporate hotel scene. So I took a job with Hyatt Hotels as an exec sous chef again. And I spent two years with Hyatt. And during that time, I got to compete in Hyatt's secret cooking competition called the Good Taste Series. Competed in the Southwest region, took first place. After that, I competed in the national competition against all the other first place winners in Los Cabos, Mexico. In late 2016, a friend of mine called me and said that he had been working at the Omni La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, California. And I knew of La Costa. It's a large resort in Southern California and it's pretty well known. Uh, the mob used to own it. The PGA used to be played there. It's a, it's a pretty, badass resort actually. So he called me and said, Adam, I I know you're a resort guy. I knew I know you used to work in resorts. And I said, yeah. And he's like, we need an exec sue. We, we don't have an exec sue. We haven't had one for a few months now. And would you be interested? And I said, yeah, absolutely. So he put me in touch with their executive chef at the time. I interviewed, they flew me out and I did a tasting. And for those that don't know, a tasting is part of the interview process for any chef. And I had done tastings before, but nothing like this one. 
I did an 11 course tasting. And let me tell you, at that time, it was the hardest tasting I'd ever done. I got the job. So I have spent the past three and a half years at the Omni La Costa in three different positions, actually. So I went there as their executive sous chef. In 2018, I transitioned into the role of the assistant director of food and beverage. For those chefs that are looking to become even more, more well-rounded, I highly recommend spending some time in the front of the house. It's just gonna make you that much better and a more well-rounded chef and food and beverage professional. So I spent a year in the front of the house. In May of 2019, the executive chef at the time had left. Uh, and before he left, he actually approached me and said, hey man, why don't you go for the position after I leave? And I said, I've been there. I, yeah, I'd love to. So I put my name in the hat and I did a tasting, of course, 18 courses. Uh, and part of that 18 courses was a seven course buffet, which I not only had to make the food for, I had to set up the buffet, do the decor, and I also did a three course menu, a four course menu, and a few other entrees and side dishes in between. And I can tell you right now that it was the hardest tasting I had ever done in my entire career, but really well worth it and it paid off because I was promoted to the executive chef of the Omni La Costa Resort and Spa in Carlsbad, California. I am extremely grateful uh, for that opportunity that was given to me. A couple months ago, I decided to start a YouTube channel. The reason being is I wanted to share my cooking knowledge and my love and passion for food to the masses. Well, not only that, I love to film. Uh, photography and cinematography is actually a hobby of mine. Uh, so it was, a, it was a cool outlet to really do everything that I love to do from cooking, photography, and filmmaking all, all in, one, in one shot. So it, it's a lot of fun and I absolutely love it. And I love sharing my knowledge of food with everybody. And I'm not just you know a typical YouTuber, uh, I'm a professional chef and, and I love to cook. I hope that comes across in the videos that I have put out and that I will continue uh, to put out for everyone. My goal with this channel, again, is to share my love for food and hopefully teach everybody something. And not just that, I hope to learn something from each and every one of you. I have a firm belief that in the culinary world, in the cooking world, the day that you think you know everything is the day you shouldn't be cooking. So with that, my name is Adam Solowitz, and if you're new to my channel, welcome and please subscribe so you can tune in every week to see new recipes, tips and tricks, and hopefully we can learn something from each other. As always, eat well.